As the resident aviation reporter at USA Today, I've understandably been getting a lot of questions lately about how safe flying really is, and about certain aspects of the aviation industry and how they're supposed to work. So first, I just want to say that flying is absolutely still the safest way to travel, and you shouldn't be worried if you have a flight coming up. But one of the questions that a colleague asked me recently was about how air traffic control is supposed to work, especially for international flights. Basically. Every country has its own air traffic control system. In the US, that's managed by the Federal Aviation Administration, and there are similar agencies in most other countries. When an international flight leaves the United States, it works with FAA air traffic controllers while it's over United States territory. And when it crosses the border into the airspace of another country, it gets handed off to air traffic controllers on the ground there. For international flights over open ocean, like a transatlantic flight from the US to Europe or a trans-Pacific flight, pilots will typically stay in touch with controllers on the ground in the closest country. So there are controllers in New York and Shannon, Ireland that oversee large swaths of the Atlantic. For international flights that fly over multiple countries, pilots will be in touch with people on the ground in all of the countries that you fly over. This works really well because air traffic control is overseen by large international aviation organizations. So aside from the accents of the air traffic controllers, there really isn't any difference between communicating with people in the tower in the US or any other country. And that's just one of the things that keeps flying as safe as it is. What questions are on your mind? Let us know in the comments.